guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while I know but I mean due to popular demand I'm gonna be showing you how to do um, the ponytail that I did I will show a picture somewhere <laughs> I'm just kidding nobody asked me to do this but you know what am I gonna do it yes I am so a while back I bought this this ponytail it needs to be a little brushed but yeah it was 32 inches which was like all the way to my back to like it was very very long and I didn't realize that when I bought it I was like, I just want a long ponytail, this and that. And then I put it on when I was home and I was like, uh, I didn't want it this long, but I cut it myself. As you can see, it's very, uh, cut very bad, but it did the job, so that's all that matters. And I think it's a very, like, a uh, good match for my hair color. Because I don't know if you can tell. You know, like when you do a ponytail. Obviously, I can't do a long ponytail with this hair. And I really wanted a long ponytail. So, this is why I got this. And I cut it down to this size. And so now, I'm going to show you how I did my ponytail. I'm going to be using a mirror for my palette. So, I can see myself. Because I can't see myself in this camera. So, I'm going to just put it right here. So, first, you need a rubber band. And you're going to do either a high or a low ponytail. And you're going to add some gel, whatever type of gel you want, to the side, like to your hair, so that it's like that. Let me just be clear, I don't know I don't actually know how to put it on the right way, but this is how I did it. So don't tell no professional hairstylist that you saw me on YouTube doing it this way because I am not a professional hairstylist. And I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but you know I don't want no misunderstandings or anything. And I'm using this brush that I bought at the beauty supply store. Oh, my ponytail was $20, which I thought was super cheap, so. I don't even know if you can see me, but hopefully you can or else this will be a waste of a video. So I'm just using this teasing brush to to make sure my the gel is like distributed through all my hair and to make sure it's like like there's like no bumps and I'm doing it to the back because the back always seems to have more bumps than the front my hair is pretty difficult I don't know about your hair but Mine always has tangles no matter how many times I brush it. And I promise I do brush my hair most of the time. So now that I've got it to where I like, I'm like moderately happy, I'm just gonna put my rubber band and make a ponytail. So this is what I look like with my real hair on a ponytail. It's not perfect, but we're going to work with it. Now I'm going to take my real hair and I'm going to brush through it again.
and I'm going to try to do like the tightest little bun that I can. And now I'm going to put more gel all over again to make sure that none of my, because my hair in the back is shorter than, than, uh, like, my hair in the back is short, so it doesn't usually reach a ponytail, and when it does, it starts falling, like, in a couple of minutes, so I'm just adding more gel to the back of my head. I didn't think this would be this easy until I tried it out and I think it's very good like a very affordable um cute hairstyle because when you go to a hair salon they charge you like hundreds of dollars when you want like a nice hairstyle for a formal event or whatever and this was just probably the most I spent was $20 with the ponytail um like $2 with the bobby pins some hair ties I have at home and some gel. So most would be like $30. And that's pretty good if you ask me. Now I'm gonna brush my ponytail. I don't want it to be all crusty. And this had like a clip, like uh, those clips that look like claws. And it had it in there, but I took it off so I could, um, cause like I thought the clip was way too obvious. And so this is what it looks like. It has a tag inside and it has these two clips. And these, this is gonna be like stuck to the, to the top of my bun and this is gonna be stuck to the back of my bun. And once I have it in there, I'm gonna use this string to tighten it so that it won't move whenever like I'm doing something so it won't fall off. So I'm putting the first clip in there and now I'm putting the second clip in there and the string is on this side. I'm just gonna Pull it from here and tighten it like this. And so now you still see like the string. So I'm going to wrap it around my head and I'm going to bobby pin it around my ponytail and on my head. Sorry. And I'm just going to bobby pin it in place. I was very scared that it was going to fall off while I was dancing or something. But it felt pretty secure after I put a bunch of bobby pins in there. And as you can see, the top of my ponytail is very like, like right here you can totally tell it's fake. So I'm going to use a strand of hair from the bottom and I'm going to wrap it around. Like so. And then I'm going to probably pin that in place too. And we are done. Now you can go. With go on with your day looking like a queen. This ponytail makes me look powerful. Makes me feel powerful. Like I just walk around with this ponytail. I'm like, 
excuse me, excuse me, like, it makes me feel like Ariana Grande, you know, cute or whatever. And so yeah, I recommend you get a ponytail, very inexpensive, very cute and simple. This took me like probably like five minutes to do. And now I'm ready to go on with my day, feeling like a...